guys, so Charlie and I are out here. I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, we were originally gonna go to the uh, Kootenays and uh, we changed our mind. We decided that, uh, you know what? Charlie's never been to uh, a spot that I've been scouting for quite a while now in Region 8. And uh, yeah, we decided instead of going all the way to Kootenays, let's try this instead. And uh, we've got about seven days to get this done. Yeah, I guess about seven days if you include today. Um, so right now it's late, so we're just gonna go in, check my camera, and then uh, do a quick little scout hunt, basically. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, All right. we're uh, hopefully gonna have some footage on the camera that we can review some of the actual animals that are out here and uh, get an idea. But if not, whatever, they're still here. Mm -hmm. I know they're here, but my camera's on a significant trail so we should we should have something on there so let's right. see what happens So it rained a little last night. I mean, this tarp did let some rain through it, but, uh, or not tarp, I guess, tent. That's all right. We didn't really keep anything in here that couldn't, uh, couldn't get wet anyway, so that's fine. But, uh, 
I left this open, so that was not bad, but anyway, let's see. Make some coffee and uh, get out there early. That will have some food to me. Oatmeal, I think. guys so I haven't really filmed all that much yesterday or today but a uh, little recap yesterday we went up into an area that uh, I typically see a lot of sign and we didn't really see it no fresh sign just old stuff and uh, we did check my camera I had a nice bull on there September 3rd um, legal bull so that was cool uh, so saw some cows in September but um, not a huge amount of action on the camera e either, really. Uh, so we've checked kind of the different uh, levels um, moving moving upwards, and now we're going to go a little higher. So it's a little bit uh, wet uh, on the trail. So the the road that I'm planning to go up is we'll see how we'll see how it goes. I mean, it should be fine, but uh, I haven't been up there in a while, so we might have to. Uh, clear clear it out a bit. Maybe there's some dead branches, but uh, it's more so the mud that I'm concerned about. So hopefully it works out. Looks like a bull might have uh, scraped up the ground with his antlers maybe here. But uh, it's been a while, so we finally found some actual fresh rubs. Um, I didn't film the first ones, but uh, I've got some over here now. Um, so that's a good sign. We finally found some fresh rubs. It's taken us a while to figure it out. Uh, but this is definitely a good, good sign. That looks like elk to me. Mm -hmm. So, sweet. It, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, real. <laughs> Got another rub here. More evidence. Got uh, a bed here that uh, smells like smells like elk. Size tree, but still, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a big bull for sure. Knocking down this tree. That's awesome. I'm gonna mark this as well.
Street day two. And uh, we just found a rub, significant. It looks pretty fresh. There's the branch you took off it. And uh, you see the leaves are just, you know, totally green. So that's really fresh and it, you can actually smell the elk. So this is interesting. We're gonna check this area out. guys went in where we saw that last rub and uh, eventually we came on another fresh one and uh, yeah it's pretty fresh just like the other one the leaves are green on the branch they took off we'll mark the spot as well region eight but um, yeah we're finally seeing some good sign in here um, lots of droppings haven't seen too many rubs yet but uh, at least we're seeing good defined trails with lots of droppings elk dropping spots yet again. 